Hello guys, welcome to my channel, Game of the MCOWASH. I'm MCOWASH, and today we're playing Pokemon Sword for the Nintendo Switch. In the last episode, we explored Route 1, we met the Professor, and we battled our rival for the second time. This is going to be a great episode, guys, so let's get started. I'm not even quite sure remember what we should be doing. Make our way back to the train station in Wedgehurst. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh. One last thing before we race, Emco Wash. See, I've got some great advice for you. You know how sometimes see Pokemon wandering out of the tall grass, yeah? If you move real slow and like and crouch down, those Pokemon won't pay you any notice. But on the other hand, if you whistle at them, you'll be sure to catch their attention. If you're a bit rubbish at whistling, just remember this. Need a fail-proof trick? Press the left stick. <laughs> Try it out and let's see if we can catch the most Pokemon I'm going You remember Wetcher Station, right? Where we picked up... Where we went to pick up Lee before? That'll be the goal, so see you there. Let's get over there. Shouldn't be too far of a walk here. Oh, we ran into a Yampa. Might lose a race if I stop to catch a Yampa. I don't have it. Let's go ahead and see if we can catch it here. Got a critical hit on that lick. Let's see if we can get a paralysis here. Oh, it's gonna get paralysis on us. All right. Tail whip. All right. Paralysis. Nothing. Okay. I'm gonna keep going for it. We're not in any any hurry here, except for now we can't uh, attack here. Ooh, we're gonna eat a tackle. May have to switch out here. Let's see if we can just catch it at this point. Might be able to. Might be a gamble in just a little bit. And we got it just like that. Yamper is caught and added to our team here. We got. Quite a few level ups here. Zigzagoon wants to learn Snarl. Uh, sure, what's that again? Oh, okay. Um, sure, we'll give it a tackle. Trudo grew to level 9, and Rookity grew to level 10. Okay, making some progress. Yamper will be added to the team. Nope, I don't think we needed to do that. Actually, I skipped the Pokedex entry. There's a Chudal just chilling right there. Back to Wedgehurst. Ooh, run right into the bushes. Come on in, Cross. You'll never beat me, beat me to the station of that base. Yeah, we stopped to catch a camper, so that's okay. Okay, okay. So out with it, M. Koash. How many did you catch? I got a really special one. Knew it yourself. Oh, just one. Looks like we're at a draw. <laughs> Though we are rivals and all, so that's fair. TM40 Swift. Okay. It's a technical machine, a TM mate. With a TM like that, you can teach your Pokemon a new move in a flash. You can use them again and again, too. 
That one can teach the move Swift. Lee gave it to me ages ago, and now it's yours. The gym challenge will begin in Moto Stoke, and our train's waiting. So let's go. All right. Well, we gotta heal Pokemon here. Hold on. Hold on. Not quite sure what's gonna happen afterwards, so we might as well just get a little supplies as well. Ah, oh, supplies could probably wait. We'll go and get those in the next city. We'll make Hop wait any longer. A little worried about Zigzagoon there. It's paralysis. Not quite so fast, you two. Oh, shoot. What do we do? <laughs> What are you doing here, Mom? I knew this day was coming since the moment you chose Grookey as your partner, darling. Was that like today? Yesterday? <laughs> Professor Magolia was kind enough to let us know that you two were setting out. So here, a last little gift to see you well set on your way. All the kit you'll need for camping. Okay, so we tamed your camping gear pretty early in the game. Everything you need to set up a tent and get cooking in the wild area or at a camping spot. No matter what happens out there, if you and your partner are together, I know you'll be fine. Thanks, Mom. And just think how lucky you are. Mother of the first ever pair of champion brothers. Because I'm certain to be champion next, you see. <laughs> of course you will be, darling. Anyway, do have fun and take care of yourselves. You'll be welcome back home anytime. Alright, we're off. Let's go. Wish us luck. Not that we'll need it. <laughs> there are loads of brilliant trainers and all kinds of Pokemon out there waiting for us. My excitement's running ahead of me even faster than the train can go, I'm going to watch. <laughs> Bet it is. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Motosoak is surrounded by a vast wild area. It's a real sight. There are all sorts of wild. There are all sorts of wild Pokemon just wandering about. Plus, you can camp out, do a spot of fishing. I don't think I'd ever get tired of it. It's pretty cool getting some little research before we get to that city. Hey, Mr. Station Master, isn't this the wild area? What are we stopped here for? Yes, this is the wild area station, make no mistake. I'm sorry to tell you that the train is halted due to a flock of Wooloo on the tracks. <laughs> flock of Wooloo on the tracks. Oh, I see the Wooloo behind us. What's there to be sorry about? This is brilliant. Brilliant? The wild area is massive. There are loads of Pokemon about battle here. You get it, don't you, Emko? This is the best possible place to put together the greatest team. Okay, let's see what what's in the wild area here. Now it makes me think, wish that I got some Pokeballs for set up, but eh, you know, I still have twenty or so, right? Hmm. She wants. Hi there, would you like to rest your Pokemon? Sure. Oh, okay, so she heals her Pokemon. Okay, that's pretty cool. I guess I didn't need to go to the Poke Center after all. Look at that. The wild area. That's Motostoke way off that way. And between there and here. Or countless new Pokemon waiting to be met. Oh, hello, if it isn't Sonia. My grand gave me a proper earful in her own way. Those two young trainers are setting out on a journey, but what are you doing with your life? Yeah, that is kind of rough. Oh, never mind that. Nothing to worry yourselves over. 
Besides, I've been quite curious about that Pokemon you two met in the forest. I've been thinking I should look into it, so time works out fine. If I discover something really huge, then maybe even Grand admit that I got some talent. Yikes, being an adult has got to have its own challenges, huh? I said you didn't need to worry about it. I'm glad to be on the road, really, it's been ages. It'll be great fun to fish and camp and rough it outside again. Well, I'm off to go stick my head in as many of those red glowing dens as I can find. <laughs> I'm going to battle the snot of a bunch of Dynamax Pokemon and fill another page of my tale of my legend. Okay, Hop. On your way. What cheek? Dynamax Pokemon are really on another level, you know. You better Dynamax your partner Pokemon, too, if you want to take on opponents that strong. You'll find spots here and there in the wild area that emit a red beam of light. If you think you're up to it, check them out. There'll be Dynamax Pokemon lurking inside. So with that, how about I send you off with a little treat for me. Pokemon Box Link. Device that allows you to access the Pokemon storage system. There are some places where it won't work. Oh, that's gonna be cool. Alright, we'll take a look at it. With Pokemon Box Link, you'll be able to put your Pokemon on your team into your boxes or take Pokemon from your boxes to add them to your team. Nice, right? So go wild catching as many Pokemon as you like and fill in some more of your Pokedex. The wild area is waiting for you. This is the start of your real adventure. I wonder what kind of Pokemon are out here. Look at that. Take a look. I've been curious on how this wild area is. It's gonna be here. There's an onyx right off the bat. The large Pokemon you see wandering about the wild area are strong. If you try battling one and it seems like you're in over your head, try to run. Run like the wind! So this one's red, but it's not. Oh, drop it. Cooking your camp can restore HP to your Pokemon and even PP they need to use. Their moves over and over. But when they have fainted and can't battle any longer, will perk right up as well with a piping hot plate of curry before them. Visit berry trees and collect plenty of berries so you can always make more curries. Is there a berry tree around? Oh, there's one right here. Sure. Two berries on the ground. Shit. Oh. One cherry and orange berry is also on the ground, so there's four. Oh, so the tree's moving. Does that mean if I just shake it enough times that the Pokemon's gonna come out? Five berries on the ground. Yeah, go ahead and shake it. Six berries on the ground. What happens to the bird? Oh, there's a Pokemon. Yep, and it's gonna be a Squobat. I wonder what happens to all the berries on the ground. Hold on, I gotta get my berries. I don't have a squirrel, but I'm not sure we're really gonna be using a squirrel on the team though. So I think we're just probably just run from this one. Oh, picked up the berry spell tree. You got three cherry berries and one orange berry. Okay, so not all of them go away. Some of them did, but. Pokemon Den. See, this one doesn't have a red beam over it. The pillar's red light you'll see in the wild area mark Pokemon Dens. Dynamax Pokemon dwell in these dens, and you'll be able to battle them by investigating the den. You can start the battle on your own, or get up to three other players to help you out. Oh, okay, so we have 50 W. Okay. Is that a full pick right off the bat? We already have a fire Pokemon though, so... Yeah, so we have Scorbunny. We have fire, water, electric, dark, too dark. So we could probably replace either Naked or Zigzagoon. I'll probably play Zigzagoon. Keep Naked. Uh, Choodle and Yamper and electric. 
team's looking all right here. Seems like a lot of Vulpix right here. I like how you can move the camera freely. I don't need, is it a Bunelby? Yeah, I don't need one of those right now. This looks like we got similar things in each one of these. Okay, is that a Pito? Use right stick to rotate the camera when you're in the wild area. If you press the right stick, you'll find you can see a wider view of things. Press the L button to look straight ahead again. Okay, that's pretty cool. Then you got a Tyrogue right here. We might try to catch this one. Place one of our dark Pokemon with the fighting Pokemon? Seems alright. Yeah, not very effective, but it's probably alright. I don't want to kill it either. Or make it faint. Special attack bell. So it's just gonna use tackle. Ooh, got a critical hit on us. Right off the bat. That should probably be good enough. At least lately in the last couple Pokemon are just fine. I have it just below half. Seems like it's getting critical hit every time, which is awesome for us. Alright, one roll, two roll, a re roll. Ooh! Broke out after the third roll. Uh, yeah, we probably should be able to just catch it here. One roll, two roll, three roll, and we cut it that time. Yeah, that's what I thought. No need to attack it anymore. Be added to the Pokedex. Nope, no nickname. You can add it to our party and replace it with six eight two. I don't think I, I think it's hurt still, right? Yeah, it is. Let's put Nick it up front. Get let Nick it get some experience. Oh, Peter's trying to get me. I don't think we need it right now. So this one also doesn't have a little red glowing thing, but we're getting uh, another 50 W. Wait, is bird trying to chase us down. Oh, okay. Got some other Pokemon here. I don't know that we're going to be using any of those, though. I want to try to use more... Oh, there's a C-Dot. More new Pokemon. It's a Pelper. Oh, there's a... One of the Red Bean. See if we can. What kind of Pokemon is in here? There's energy pouring out from the den. Ooh, got 300 W. That one. Max rate. Defeat a Dynamax Pokemon, you get a chance to catch it. Additionally, there are some rare items that you can only obtain by battling Dynamax Pokemon. When wild Pokemon Dynamax, they become incredibly powerful. They may unleash multiple moves in a row and take other actions you won't see in a regular battle. Working together with other trainers will be the key as you take on these Dynamax Pokemon together as a team of four. Okay. This one looks like a Choodle. Or is it not? Kind of hard to tell from that. Um, so let's turn on... Yeah, yeah. I got that. Uh... Pretty sure I can figure this out here, right? Yeah, let's connect to the internet and uh, 
We'll see if we can get some more teammates to battle this Dynamax Pokemon. Okay. Let's see if we can, um, well, let's see, I think Yamper's going to be better to get a water Pokemon then. Let's invite others, see how long it would take to get some teammates here so no one is joining us here so let's go ahead and just I'll start it here yep that's totally fine okay so they're gonna give me some NPC partners and it is yeah it's a Choodle I wonder if it's gonna be better than the one we got We can Dynamax for Pokemon here. Go Max Lightning. Should be super effective. Get a big Yampa. <laughs> there you go. That's a good boy. Quick attack didn't do very much to that Choodle. Ooh, it didn't, I think it didn't appreciate the quick attack either. Ooh. Oh, it has a focus sash. Ooh, it started to rain. That's good for me. Use. Okay. I'm gonna use Max Lightning. I was kind of hoping for a little bit more, but... Hmm. I wonder what level is Trudelis. doesn't really tell me. Eevee used Helping Hand. Maybe better just to dip. Ooh! Is that just a water gun? Almost took out Yamper? That did a lot more damage, probably because there's the electric field now. Don't target me. Nope, the EV. Okay, that's good. I mean, still a fan of the EV, but we're going to be fine at this point. Should be able to take it out, especially if I can hit this next uh, max lightning. Yeah, there it goes. Seems like it was doing more and more damage every turn, but we also got a critical hit this last turn. Alright, so let's throw a Pokeball at it and see if we catch it. Boom! One roll. Two roll. The re roll. Oh, it comes small again. <laughs> I think there was the aura of the Dynamax energy around it. So we got five extra small experience candies, one small experience candies, Dynamax candy, rare candy, and a waterfall. That's kind of cool. Yeah, some pretty good stuff here. Nope, Choodle doesn't need a nickname. Uh, let's see the summary on this Choodle here. Did it say what? Oh, this one's level 20. Yikes. Water gun bite, tackle, protect. 
timid. Yeah, that's a lot better than the other one. Um, can I swap my tutor for it? Yeah, mine's only level 9. Seems pretty good. Oh, now we get to see people in the overworld. Okay, that's the strong quicks there. I'm also probably lost my way here. Oh, there he goes. Oh, okay, we got Pancham, Snover. Got any new Pokemon up in here? Butterfree. Another Pancham. Let's see what else we got. A Snow Runt? Yep. Snow Runt. Oh. See if we can get some more of these. 50 W's. Uh oh. There's a lot, of, a lot of grass here. So it looks like every patch of grass has like a couple Pokemon in it. There's another C dot. I don't see too many new Pokemon though. I recognize quite a few of these. What's this? Oh, it's another C dot. Another Dynamax Pokemon. Oh, that's a Dusclops. I probably wouldn't be able to take that out. What's this though? Max Revive. Probably won't be using that anytime soon. Oh, there's a Ghastly. Do we need a Ghost Pokemon? Is that going to be better than my Fighting Pokemon? Still not. I'm trying, I want to use the newer Pokemon here. So I may just let all of these go here. Just go into the new town. Well, what Pokemon was it? Let me change my mind here. What Pokemon is this Dynamax den here? 300W from there. Ghost Grass. Ghost Grass. Um, hmm. Well, let's switch Pokemon. Use Scorbunny. See if there's anyone else that wants to do this one with me. Yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and do that. Oh, Phantom. My NPC partners here are focus sashes. Let's go ahead and use Max Blair. Dynamax or Score Bunny. Boom! That is a huge Pokeball. <laughs> Dear Score Bunny. I think we should see how much this can do. The lot does quite a bit actually. A couple of those and that's gonna be pretty decent in taking this thing out. Ooh, it's gonna target me. Thanks. Yep. Did a good amount. Oh wow. I did quite a bit. Let's do another max player. I think we're gonna spam that until Oh there's quite a few Pokemon here that are super effective against it. Which is pretty good. Ooh, one more hit. One more hit guys. 
Is the Iron Tail good enough? Yep, sure is. I don't know if we're going to use this on our team, but we'll try to catch it. I mean, ghost grass. I mean, we're gonna. It's gonna be better in our fighting Pokemon, maybe? We'll take a look at our team here. So we just caught it. So we got pretty close to what we got last time, except we got Shadow Ball and a couple different berries. The other ones are all the same. Phantom, after a lost child perished in the forest, their spirit possessed a tree stump, causing the spirit's rebirth as this Pokemon. Oh, okay. Um, let's see, what do we got here? It's level 16. Nose Frisk, Nose Branch Poke, Tackle, Astonish, and Will-O-Wisp. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. Um, okay, so what... What would I take out for this, if I were to use it? I mean, I may, or may not even use it. Do I need the fighting Pokemon? Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, let me replace Tyrogue for now. Alright, those are actually kind of fun. Oh. Let's go see if we can head into town here. A Quagsire there. Ooh, it's starting to snow. Oh. The walled area is overflowing a special sort of energy measured in watts. Oh, okay, so that's probably what the W is for. You can gather watts yourself from glowing Pokemon dens and glowing Pokemon in the wild. You also find trainers in the wild area who are willing to give you all sorts of items if you just give them some of your watts. Oh, okay. Like these guys here. Uh, spin my watts. Ooh, a netball. Ooh, stuff's pretty expensive. I only got 900 watts, so we may have to wait on that stuff. Hey there, trainer taking your first step in the world of camping. People call me the Camping King. I can help you out with all your camping needs. Remember, everyone starts out as a rookie. If you've got any questions about camping, feel free to ask me. Is there any camping related you'd like some help with? Uh, not right now. We may uh, explore this in a little bit. I think I just want to get into town at this point. I'm not seeing any new Pokemon popping up here. Let's get into town. Find your way through the wild air to reach Motostoke next. Okay, we made it to town. Made it to Motostoke. What was that? Oh, was that a lift? An old school lift? Okay, so other part of the city is on top of the lift. We're gonna go heal our Pokemon real quick. Sonia, hey, over here! Oh, Sonia's over there. Oh, did you see that Choodle on the poster? Real ace of you to make it through the wild area. Seems like you, your trek ran 
your Pokemon Ragged. You should pop in the Pokemon Center. That's where I, exactly where I was going. Besides, there's something in there I'll bet you get a kick out of. If you're a real trainer and all. Oh. What do you mean? Oh. Looks like the Rotom's free. Rotami, oh, Rotami, or a kind of Rotom information service. It's a handy machine for trainers. You can even use one to customize your league card. Why don't you try playing around with it, your league card a little bit, I'm Kowash. Here's a sample for you. You got Leon's league card. Show off your achievements by making a league card. You can customize your card by using the card maker found at every Pokemon Center. Doing so will also update your card with all your latest information. Trainers have all have their own link cards and you can swap cards with other trainers that you can connect with using communication features. You can view all the lead cards you've collected by checking out your album, which you can find in the league card option of the X menu. But Motostoke sure is big, right? Not to worry. Sunny is here to show you around a bit. Come find me after you heal up the Pokemon. Oh, okay. The opening ceremony, uh, I get a bit worked up when I think about how exciting and moving it was to actually stand on the stadium's pitch for the first time. I wonder why she's not uh, training her Pokemon anymore. And she just not not win the, the league, so she decided not to continue training her Pokemon? Not quite sure. Alright, let's get our Pokemon here in uh, level order here, so we can see what we got going on. So Trudel's easily our strongest Pokemon. Phantom, right behind. Then it's Scorbunny, then Rookie D, then Yamper and Nickit. Okay. See what we got here. Um. So we got Pokeballs. Yeah, let's do get a few of those. Uh, some potions. Get about twenty of those. Um. Oh yeah, we first. Better get some of these just just in case. That costs us quite a bit. Just for the five there. I'm hoping we wouldn't have to use them very often, but we'll see. So brilliant young trainer, who's braved the wild area? Do you remember what your goal in Motostoke is? Uh, yeah, the gym challenge. Yep, the gym challenge opening ceremony. Obviously, what we're here for. By the way, the ceremony tomorrow is being held at the Motostoke Stadium, okay? Assuming that's the big building right in front of us, but use that lift over there to get to the stadium, okay? Oh, so does a lift. Well, laters, I'm gonna swing by the shops while I'm here, but don't forget to register at the stadium, okay? Okay. I kind of want to see what else is we got around here. Oh, can't move our camera anymore. Get used to that. I see that you're working on a Pokedex. You'll meet lots of different Pokemon if you head to the wild area. Can you go in here? Oh, we can. Hoo Hoot. Hoot enjoys bitter flavors just fine. But I've got more of a sweet tooth myself. Oh, there's a lot of Pokemon here, or a lot of people in here. Welcome to the Battle Cafe. Oh, it's a Battle Cafe. You can battle here once a day. If you win, we'll give you a treat on the house. Uh, sure. Okie dokie, let's have a break. Well, I don't know what Pokemon he has, but Cafe Master Dwight. 
sends out a cone bee. Ooh, I can send out uh, a score bunny. Might be pretty good at handling this. Let's go ahead and swap the score bunny. Our fire move is going to be super effective against it. And uh, bow moves are not going to be very, very effective against the score bunny. Imba. Boom! Look at that damage. Oh, and we got the burn. Not that we really needed it. It was, was going to be two shots either way, and the burn's not going to be enough to knock it out. But... Yeah, the burn didn't do hardly anything. Good to use Ember one more time. Boom, Combi is down. That's going to be it for the Cafe Master D. White. Score Bunny wants to learn Double Kick. Uh, sure. Hmm. Yeah. Well. I mean, how often do we use Tackle anyway? Yeah, I'll just give her a Tackle. Nick it grew to level 9. Yeah, I hope that battle was a <laughs> delicate, sweet taste for you. Got eight hundred Pokey dollars for winning that battle. That, that that was a battle as exciting as a glass of pinap juice. Here's the treat I promised. Got a lava cookie. Okay. Lava Ridge Town's local specialty. It could be used once to heal all the status conditions of Pokemon. Well, that's pretty cool. Taking items from older games and putting it in here. That's pretty cool. Oh, you're a Pokemon trainer. Here, let me give you something nice. Try using it on your Pokemon. TR13 Focus Energy. What's the difference between that and TM? The user takes a deep breath and focuses so that critical hits land more easily. TRs are vintage. You can use them to have your Pokemon learn rare moves. They break after one use two, which is also extra old school. Okay, so yeah. It, back in the day, TMs used to be a one use only, and then after a while they decided to... What's that? Oh, that's you pushing. Um, decided to make it to where you can use them more than once. I can't wear the same uniform as my favorite gym leader. I get way too nervous. If you choose my own uniform number, which one should I pick? Can't make up my mind. Oh, can't go in this bookstore, huh? Nope. Mr. Rose is a real love for the Gala region. It's not enough to help keep us all supplied with energy. He even supports the gym challenge. Sounds like a busy guy. Can I go in this one? No, nope, but... Two paralyzed heals. Can I really not go in there? No, I can't go in there. Can I just go in on the one side? Okay. Well, I guess we're going up the lift. Who's that? <clears throat> oh, is that Leon? I surely never make it to the stadium without you to show me the way, partner. You with a huge old thing like this. Bang in the middle of the city, I still get lost. Huh. And Kowash. Alright. One look tells me that you become a trainer worthy of that endorsement I gave you. And yes, I reckon you might be ready to use this. Here. Try giving it to your partner to hold. Piece of charcoal. Okay, that's pretty cool. Boosts are fire time moves. You can take that lift up to the city's upper level. If you're headed to the for the stadium next yep sure am we're gonna go ahead and put that piece of charcoal though on oh so every time you get a new item looks like it highlights it for you which is pretty nice got a premier bomb cherry orange figgy and kelp sea berries get all of our stuff from our 
Max Ray Battles plus the piece of charcoal. So we're gonna give it to Score Bunny. So we got our League card here. Looks like it's just a generic League card, so we'll go ahead and. Oh, okay. So it looks like uh, over here on the right hand side, you can see that uh, Pokemon up to level 20 will listen to the trainer's request. And this trainer can catch Pokemon up to level 20. So we maxed it out on that one. Oh, well you can flip the card over. That's pretty cool. On that one catch, the one Dynamite, Dynamax Pokemon. Versus Mystery Gift Pokemon Camp. Okay. Let's continue on. We got a lot of people here. Ta-da! You took the time to talk to a Pokeball, so you deserve a little reward. <laughs> he gives you a Pokeball, that's pretty funny. In case you're wondering, I'm not just any old Pokeball. But then, who am I, you ask? Well, the answer is simple. They call me the Ball Guy. Okay. Stadium can even handle Dynamax Pokemon battling inside. They said long ago, long ago, there was a giant stadium made entirely out of stone. Oh. Hop is here? You made it too? Motostoke Stadium, this is where the opening ceremony will be held. I like his, when he gets all excited, he gets in that little stance there. Everyone will be watching the opening ceremony for the gym challenge. My mom, your mom, the whole world. It's getting me a bit nervous, really. Nah, this isn't nerves. I'm only trembling because I'm so excited. Come on, Amco Watch, it's time the world learned our names. I don't know if I need the world to know my name, but... <laughs> oh, okay, it's a pretty cool looking stadium here. Take a look at this. This place is packed with gym challengers. Every one of those folks is another rival. Let's get signed up. Who's this guy? <laughs> Got a little attitude on that one, huh? Seriously, what a piece of work. If you're here to register for the gym challenge, I'll need to see your endorsements, please. Fancy that. This is the first time we had a challenger endorsed by the champion. Well, now you had two because I am as well. What? Two of you at once? I wonder what's come over Leon this year. Two of you must be something special. I'm Hop. I'm Leon's little brother, in fact, and the next champion. Get me all signed up, would you? Well, well, yes. I'm. I'm trying to. I'll just give me a moment. There. You two have successfully registered as gym challengers. You can now choose your preferred number on your from your uniform if you be so kind. It'll be displayed on the back of your uniform. You must wear for any official match. Um, shoot, I don't know. So this has to be three, three numbers. Uh, let's do that one. 180. Sure, why not? And here, please wear the gym challenge band at all times. Identify yourself as a gym challenger. The opening ceremony for the gym challenge is to be held here tomorrow. All the trainers taking part have been booked a room at the nearby Badoo drop in. That's the league chairman for you. He even booked us all hotel rooms. I'm off to check out the fancy digs. <laughs> Alright, um, I guess we'll go head that way as well. There's a lot of people we can talk to in here. But that's going to take up quite a bit of time. We're just going to go ahead and move on. You must be Challenger M. Koash. The do drop in is down this way. If you'd be so kind as to follow me. 
Okay, I guess that's where we're going anyway. How far down is it? Oh, here it is. Challenger M. Kowash, we have arrived at the Badu drop in. Try to get some rest and build your strength for what's to come. Okay. Ah, it looks like you both got yourselves registered. Hey, Sonia, what are you doing in our hotel? I'm researching the mysterious Pokemon that are said to be in the slumbering weald. I reckon if I look into some Galar's legends, I might figure something out. Care to join me? You're here already anyway. What's this then? It's a statue of the hero who once saved the Galar region. I could run through the legend right quick if you fancy. Uh, yeah, let's do the short version. Long ago, a great black storm covered the Gala region. People called it the darkest day. The land was assaulted by gigantic Pokemon, but they were defeated by a single young hero, bearing a sword and a shield. This statue here is meant to depict the young hero of that legend. Huh, I suppose that hero must have been about as strong as Lee then. Looks like you're going to have your hands full with plenty of research though, Sonya. Black storms and swords and shields and all. You'll be alright. You got it. Thanks. I'll muddle through somehow. Don't you worry. You two are staying here at the hotel tonight, though, aren't you? Shouldn't you check in? Eh, that's probably a good idea. And we'll look out for you too, Sonia. If we hear anything about any hero or whatnot, we'll tell you. Alright, what do we got going on here? Hey, is there any problems? We came all the way out to this big city so that we could properly cheer on gem challengers. Team Yell is healed to help, here to help, after all. You're in for a battle if you want to stop us. Okay. Looks like you're making it to where everyone else can't register, so... Doesn't like you're supporting gym challengers at all. Didn't we tell you, mate? You get in our way, and you're in for a battle. Team Yell's all about helping, helping one very special trainer win the gym challenge, that is. We want to make sure she gets cheered on nice and proper. And now you're going to help us make some noise. Okay. It's a little attitude from Team Yell here. I wonder what they have. A zigzag goon. Okay. I don't know if Nick gets going to do a ton against Zigzagoon, but... Yeah. Oh, I like how it tells you the type matchups here on the right-hand side. That's pretty cool. Yeah, we'll switch out to Score Bunny. Thanks to our double kick we just learned. Use Lick. Hope I don't get paralyzed here. And I don't. Should be faster than Resist that Goon, which I am. <laughs> I don't need... I don't even need two kicks. I just need the one. Alright. That is it. That is all the Pokemon he had. Went looking for a fight and I lost. I'm so pathetic. 720 Poke Dollars added to the bag for that battle. Oh, give me a break here, Team Yell. Get revenge for me, would ya? Oh, so are we gonna battle all of them individually? Of course I got you covered, mate. What could be better than a battle with a lovely hotel lobby? Okay. I guess we're battling another Team Yell grunt. Which has Nicket. Which is another... Pokemon that probably... I mean, 1v1. I'm not looking to uh, just 1v1 here, so we're just going to go ahead and switch back to Score Bunny. Do the same thing we did to the Zigzag game. 
It's sure looking like a fighting Pokemon should be decent, actually. So I may reconsider putting Tyro in the box. But Skull Burning does, you know, double kick. But that's not going to be good for the remainder of the game. I'm trying to look a little bit ahead here. That also does mean that I give up my grass Pokemon if I do that. Hmm, we'll have to play it by ear, I think. So, Yamper, Rookity, and Naked all grew level. Must be a bit carried away being in this swanky hotel and all. Sorry for getting in your way. You can get an apology. Well, I accept your apology. Oh man, the swanky sophisticated air. <laughs> in here had me off my game couldn't even keep my cool I wasn't expecting checking in to be such a big fuss I'm gosh what's going on sneaking in some Pokemon battles without me don't think you can get ahead of me that easily I need to get some training in too here I'll even heal the Pokemon I'm hop <laughs> one of this year's gym challengers one of the and the one who's gonna be the next champion and now, let's have a nice two on two. So we're eventually going to take on all four of these guys. We're going to do two on two with uh, Hop here. You can already hear my victory coming. The only sound you'll make is a whimper. Old defeat. Alright, Team Yo Grunt and Team Yo Grunt. Nicket and Zigzagoon. I'm gonna send out Nick on my own. He's gonna send out. Oh, Wooloo. Yeah, I'm gonna switch back out to uh, Score Bunny. Just because Score Bunny's easily gonna be better than Nick here. Should make pretty short work of these Pokemon. Hit Wooloo. Wooloo hit Tackle. Ooh, I should've didn't do that then. Ooh, Snarl gets both of us. Special attack bell. Okay, I'm just gonna use double kick on the Nicket here. Ooh, Nicket's gonna get us with a quick attack first, though. See, I'm gonna need both kicks this time. Nicket is down. Now it's 2 1 1 on the Zigzagoon. The Wulu did decent last turn. With the tackle. It does a decent amount of damage. Okay. So Leer affects both. Uh, yeah, we should do it there with the double kick. Don't need the second kick. Didn't expect that I would, but especially since tackle is doing so much. Score Bunny grew a level, level 13. Team Yo Grunt and Team Yo Grunt were defeated. My voice is unsure when I'm sad. I want to yell, but I'm unsure. I came to the see the gym challenge opening ceremony, but this is awful. 1440 Poke Dollars for winning. So we got 720 each. Guess it wasn't defeat that I heard coming. I think I'm about to cry. What are you lot doing here? Barney? I don't know, nothing. We was just... I know you are terribly curious about the other gym challengers, but... You gotta show a bit of restraint. Sorry about them. They're just a bunch of my fans. Call themselves Team Yell and follow me around cheering for me. I think they let it all go to their heads a bit. Come on, you lot. Back home, you know. They're just so caught up with wanting to support me and all that they tend to be a bit shirty with other gym challengers. Sorry if they cause you any trouble. So you're a gym challenger too, huh? Team Yell was, was it? Pretty impressive that you already have a set of fans to call your own. I 
wonder how she got her whole set of fans there. Good evening and welcome to the buddy who drop in. You must be one of the Pokemon trainers entering the gym challenge. Sure am. Yes, young master M. Koash. I see that the league has booked a room for you. And if I might, thank you for helping us out of a sticky situation with those hooligans earlier. Hope you have a pleasant stay with us. Sleep well. Okay, so we're just staying the night right now. <laughs> Hop's still practicing his throw. Morning. So this is it. Now my legend Willie really begins. Watch out, Mkoash. I'll beat you to Moto Stoke Stadium. Isn't that just like right next door? Alright, let's hop to it. Marnie's not, uh... Gym Challenger, the opening ceremony is starting soon. Please allow me to escort you to the gym stadium. Sure. So I just get a fast travel over there. Alright, follow close. And be careful not to lose sight of me. <laughs> Boom. We made it to the stadium entrance. Please hurry to the opening ceremony. Alright, let's do it. Challenger Amco Wash, was it? We must ask the gym challengers wear their uniforms for all official events. The opening ceremony marks the beginning of the gym challenge, so you know what that means. That's right. I'll need you to get your change as well. Okay. Where do we need to go for that? Oh, it just automatically does it for us? Okay. And there's a number 180. Wonderful. You look sharp as a pen, and that 180 there, it's really the number for you. Oh gosh, you say that to everyone. <laughs> now we're ready at last for the opening ceremony for this year's gym challenge. We got Chairman Rose. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Rose, chairman of the Pokemon League. I know that everyone gathered here and everyone watching from home have all been waiting for this big moment. It is my pleasure to announce that finally the Gala Region Gym Challenge will now begin. Yes, the Gym Challenge. Participants must defeat eight gym leaders and gather the eight gym badges to prove their skills as a trainer. Only the most worthy will have the honor of challenging the greatest champion in history. Now, I'd like to invite the gym leaders to show themselves. Is it really all the gym leaders are gonna be here? We're not gonna make it a surprise when we get to the next city? All eight of them are gonna be right here? Oh, well. The fighting farmer, he's the grass type expert, Milo. The raging wave, it's the master of water types, Nessa. The ever burning man of fire, comes the fire type, veteran, Kabu. The Galar karate prodigy, no one's better with fighting types than Bay. The master of fantastic theater, it's the charming fairy type user, Opal. The Hard Rock Crusher, please welcome Rock Type Master Gordy. The last but not least, the Tamer of Dragons, it's Rohan, Rayhan, the top gym leader. Fortunately, we're missing one, but these are the gym leaders that we that are in the Galar region. Yeah, which one are we missing? I guess we'll find out sooner and later. So it wasn't all eight gym leaders, it was just seven. And that was it. 
opening ceremony. Sitting there on the pitch, in the stadium, in front of everyone. That's really no words for it, but I can barely contain myself. My heart's racing. You made it at last, huh? And you too, Emko Wash. So you're the two trainers our champion endorsed himself. Welcome, it is a delight to meet you. I'm Rose, of course. Oh, and what's this? I see you both already possess Dynamax bands. How wonderful. Seems like you two have been led here by a guiding light of wishing stars. By the way, is my wonderful company that invented those Dynamax bands, you know? Huh. <laughs> little modest guy there. I dare say this year's gym challenge is looking to be an absolute blast. Very good, very good indeed. That means the whole Gala region is in for some excitement. The gym challenge is an excellent opportunity to show off your Dynamax Pokemon. Now I'm terribly sorry, but there's some urgent business I need to attend to. So I must be on my way. The best of luck to both of you. Well, it was nice that he came over and talked to us a little bit. Chairman certainly seems to be in high spirits. Now, listen closely, you two. You've both only started on your path as trainers. If you want to win, you need to do more than just train your Pokemon. You train yourselves, too. Let's do it, Amkowash. You know the gym challenge has set has a set order that you got to visit the gyms in, right? The first is Turfield. And to get there, you need to head to Route 3. Okay, the Gym Challenge. Gym Challenge is an event in which aspiring trainers travel around the Gala region to try to collect gym badges from eight of its gyms. To earn a gym badge, you must complete that gym mission and also defeat its gym leader. Okay. So we'll be heading off to, to what, Turfield, you said? Yeah, Turfield. Through Route 3. Challenger M. Kowash, the chairman asked me to deliver this gift to you. Oh, didn't you just see me? A gift, such a wonderful thing, from the chairman. Such a wonderful man. Ow. Excuse me, this gift is to access the flying taxis. They will allow you to, in order to fly. Calling a flying taxi will allow you to travel quickly back to areas you've already visited. You use the flying taxi service, one of their well trained Corviknight will have you zipping across the Gala region to your desired destination in no time at all. Just open up the X menu and use the town map to choose where you want to go. Well, that's nice. If it's alright with you, I'll read a segment from the flying taxi user manual. <coughs> Press the X button and select the town map option to choose the place you'd like to go to. Anyway, your next goal should be Turfield, isn't it, right? When traveling to a new place, it's best to get there on your own two legs, don't you think? Alright guys, it's going to be the end of the episode. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well as the bell icon to get notified every time a new video hits the channel. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.